today with me on candid conversations is yash birla he's written his second book uh, it's called building the perfect body uh, which is something which we can clearly make out by looking at his bulging biceps now uh, yash has said that you know it's not only about the body it's also about the mind and yes you you've always been uh, deep rooted into spirituality so what i want to start off by asking you is uh what are the different discoveries you made in your search for various mystical solutions which you also spoken about in the book so i think uh, spirituality is karmic i must say it's something which is not uh, it can be taught but there's a, there's a desire or there is a curiosity which comes to you at some point in your life and right. then some situations make it convenient for you to pursue it because i do believe this comes from from previous incarnations and lives so i mean i was as young as 13 i used to uh, and this is not something which was told to me or taught to me or my parents were doing it or it just happened that i was very curious about books like the upanishad and the bhagavad gita or like simple books like what happens after death life after death and i used to pick up these books and read them and uh, so there was like when i went to study for my mba in the united states when i was about barely 22 i used to go into the forest and listen to the bhagavad gita chanting by myself and in fact my mother said that like you know usually when you go abroad you're like having a good time in america clubs in your free time why would you do something like this i said that's just something which is me so uh in that lieu i think it's something which was just there with me as uh, something which was a desire curiosity and a pursuit from like a very early age and that journey just continues continues till today because the journey never ends actually because learning is something which we should never give up in life in anything and uh, at the moment you think you know too much is when you stop knowing anything right right and what is what is your like fitness regimen like every day i mean you you already said that you meditate twice a day apart from that what about the gymming and uh, what about that and any sports etc so yeah so obviously i i mean there's I, i'm not saying there's less time for whatever you want to do but there is a limit to the end of this this is not i can't work out for 3 hours a day or anything i strictly follow about less than an hour a day mm. and uh, mostly it's weight training uh, because i love the gym cardiovascular is essential but it's supplementary to weight training so it could be after the, the weight training or it could be on an empty stomach in the morning but not like a focus like i'm not into like athletics or running long distances or anything uh for stamina flexibility i think the best is yoga and again it con- uh, it complements my spirituality so yoga pranayam meditation the what we call the ashtanga yoga path patanjali right. yoga sutras these are all essential to incorporate in a certain way now i'm not saying i do too much of yoga because again time is not unlimited so i do some yoga asana i do pranayam i do art of living uh, uh, shri shri ravi shankar ji uh, sudarshan priya which is a pranayam uh, and meditation Right. so i integrate all this into the fitness so and sometimes it follows so you can let's say i can do weight training i i can do 10 minutes cardio vascular after that then i go on to yoga asanas 10 minutes then i can go into pranayam and then i can go on to meditation it can all happen together so that's from activity to inactivity uh from um, what we call ratsik which is pushing weights to satvik which is meditation and which is going to nirgun which is thoughtlessness so I right mean, right it sounds it is it sounds a little complicated but it isn't very easy no i mean for somebody who's been into spirituality from the age of 12 and used to go to the forest and meditate clearly i mean you know your 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 knowledge and your details about all these things are much more so uh, obviously some of it goes through our uh, above our head some of it we sort of register um now you know you you written you wrote one book right. in around 2014 i'll more. make sure when we meet personally and not in an sorry i said when we meet personally not yeah. in an elaborate interview everything yeah. will go in your head it's very easy it's very simple just sounds come fair okay, enough go fair ahead. enough sorry sorry to interrupt no no i'll i'll, I'll look forward to that but uh, you know in 2014 you wrote a book which was more autobiographical nature right now you wrote a book which is uh, more about fitness and the mind body connection you've talked about spirituality you've talked about fitness more as a journey which is which is why it's a useful book are we going to look at you sorry yeah. down the line or maybe next you already decided on the third book which you're going to be writing 
So you were coincidentally how this happened. It's a, it's an interesting uh, journey. Shobha Day, who I respect greatly uh, mm. as an author and somebody who thinks really well, uh, came approached me and said, you know, Yash, why don't you write a book on fitness? It'll be really inspirational to the young generation. Because you come out with a separate book on fitness, but let's keep this as a biography. So mm. it was at that time only that I decided, yes, there will be a book on fitness. It took a while longer than we thought. Yeah. And finally, it's here. So it kind of followed. It just happened. And I always believe things happen. You just need to have the right intention. And it's like what you call a sankalp. And it just happens. So this has happened. Yes, if you talk about something else, there are a lot of, uh, from my last biographical books, which ended, I think it ended when my daughter was born, which was like a very joyful event in my life. That was the last last page of the last book. Right. There's a lot more that has happened. And yeah. um, philosophically, spiritually, which is not a focus of any of these two books. I think there's a lot I would like to share. Uh, fitness also has become more complex now than just, I've, I've given like for everybody, but there are a lot of things which, which one can improvise on in fitness because it's become like a science now. Yeah. So there are a lot of things which one can write more to really know if somebody's really interested in the science of uh, fitness, there's a lot more I can share. So yes, these are thoughts I'm sure they'll manifest somewhere. If, if God willing and needs to be and do a right. book number three right now, I've actually got um, for all the people watching this interview I've got a, at least five to six questions more for Yash Birla but the unfortunate part is that Zoom is now giving me notifications saying that uh, this interview is going to close and I really want to record this um, so uh, we'll have to we'll have to end this interview for right now but we will be back more with Yash in, for an article or a video uh, yes, thanks so much for talking to us and all the best for your book and the other 10, 15, 20 books which you're going to be writing in the future. Thank you so much. That's really good wishes from you. Really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you.